first of all, hi, everybody. I'm glad you had a good weekend since now it's like day three. <laughs> so um, welcome to the Après Cour of Science. Uh, my name is Michelle Amar from uh, Equipe Choc Pedagogical. And today it's going to be a, a beautiful short summary of uh, the Après Cour. Um, just going to start off by saying um, I met with Barbara today and she was saying that the TSG 4059 version C is available and um, and few other ones will be available soon too, but this one version C. So please, if you need any other version, please contact your <laughs> uh, section person or a local uh, PET consultant or center director to have access for you to upgrade your uh, exams. Um, also, any her message to everybody, Please feedback, feedback, feedback. The English sector, we're 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 you know we're hungry for feedback. So if any exams uh, need uh, some feedbacks, send it to her uh, on BIM online. .qc .ca. Um, also to let everybody know the biology fifty seventy is finished and ready to be used. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, some ministerial note on that. There won't be any exam anytime soon. It's super, which means it will be kind of a little bit in a delay. So hopefully next September. We don't know. We don't have a definite date on it, but it's not anytime soon. And uh, I have Jessica there. <laughs> Jessica here, because she's one of the... Uh, uh, one of the uh, co-author, you know, on the group, and we wanted to talk about it a little bit, but I guess we'll, we'll talk about it more when we get the second one also, the 5071, okay? Um, the update in the laboratory project, we have a sample to show you. We wanted to see if there's teachers who are interested, but I'm gonna share my screen and show you a sample lab, you know, and I wanted to invite teachers who, who filmed their own lab uh, to send it to us, please, because we're gonna do lots of fun things. So let me show you a sample. Thanks. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's super, super cool. Courtesy of France Delaurier from, uh, from uh, our team. This is a little lab that she filmed. It's about... Uh, water purification and that will go for the 4062, 4064. It could be used in both class. So let me show you. And it's non, um, there's no sound. And I'll explain to you how we're gonna do this.
look at the bottom of the uh look at the water the color of the water oh yeah okay interesting yeah and that's nice and short too that's a good length yeah so the whole idea behind it is that she she chose a color for the water so just the small molecule you know when you color water this is minute minute molecule that gets disturbed in the water and when you filter it through the system then you see the water goes back to clear pure yeah water. so this is the filtration system we have in montreal usually everything that goes into our main water stream it gets filtered through of course machinery a bit more complex than that but the whole idea behind it that you could actually filter water at home like at home like technically right so why we did it this way there's strategies that was thought through the strategies is to teach the students to prepare for a lab there's no guidance whatsoever so they have to watch and take down notes so they're going to be watching it and they're going to take down the steps mm -hmm. and prepare for it so when you go to the lab itself to do it as if you're doing an exam every time and the teacher is there only in supervision so their note is how good their note's going to be is how good they're going to execute. So you're teaching them how to take notes, you're teaching them how to get organized, and you're teaching them how to be in an exam setting every time they're doing a lab. So for teachers who have individual settings and teachers who have, um, you know, they have multi-level, multi, and that once in a while students, they don't have to worry. They'll have a setup of labs that way where the students will watch, will take notes, prepare for, execute. And then the time they'll take is actually filling out the lab report after, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so we, we try to thought, think about it strategically for multiple uh, areas. And um, we, there's another component also to this is for students who have, uh, for diversity, uh, more inclusivity purposes, students who have difficulties with laboratories, we will be adding the vocal, the teacher guiding the steps. Yeah. And Super that would cool. be only for students who have difficulty. We don't want to use it as a mainstream because that's like almost like a level two or level, you know, if you look at the universal model of teaching. So this is a sample. <laughs> we were, we're going to be doing two labs per book to start off a library. So it's a lot, a lot of work, but it's coming. Yeah, Jess. So I have Perfect. a kind of wondering, um, because I will, I mean, individualize, and I wonder if we could also do it like scaffolding where oh, yeah. the first video or the first few videos have more not necessarily audio but maybe because I know you can edit the video so you just include mm -hmm. like add charcoal so they know okay this is what's being done because otherwise I know there are students who they see but they don't comprehend or their observation skill is just poor that it really they will say, oh, you add, but they don't, they don't feel they need to write it down and then forget completely after. Oh, no, no. I, 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 I so agree with you, Jessica, and I'm so happy you mentioned that. By the way, this filtration water lab, it's not the first lab you're going to give your students. There is actually prior to that, which we're going to work with Emily after once we get there, which is, for example, like... Uh, First of all, laboratory uh, behavior and, and rules. There's all of this set, like how to set up your station. There's uh, there's how to write a lab report. All of those, like those, are complementary. And we're gonna start off also with the basic basic laboratories, like how to measure, you know, how to weigh things, how to convert. There's like there's a whole skill set of labs where is a lot more a lot more guided, and uh, of course, we're looking from 59 to 64. The chemistry of physics is going to be a different category of videos, but from, from 59 to 64, 
we will be building them up. So the teacher will have a choice. If they're starting from 59, then they'll go through all the little like video before they get to be experts in 64. But let's say you have a student who just showed up for like let's say 64, then you could decide to say, okay, I'm gonna give them this video, this video, this video for them to work with. So it's a, it's a library, it's, it's up to you. But you're right, we will be trying to, we can't, we can't differentiate every single video because it'll be like an ex, like it'll be too much, but we will be picking a couple of video, like maybe two, three videos and do maybe um, a stop and think moment or maybe uh, like an H5P, uh, but, but that will be more with the, with the, um, probably with the, the, um, the lab itself, because with this video, there'll be a handout also, and a template to fill up. So there's like, there's other material that comes with it. It's not just a video and go good luck, you know? Oh no, like now I can see it more and I know for H5P, you have the video, H5C is built on top of it because then what I can do is just use the video and if I need yeah. to, I can add the scaffolding for- you know, That's uh, it, yeah. that's it, awesome. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But the idea, what, what we're finding difficult is just to, to get the videos like of the lab. And we want to make sure that the labs are relevant to the adult ed program, because there's a lot, a lot of laboratory that we found. Like yeah. we found a lot, but they're not to our curriculum, 100%. So there's so many modification all the time that we have to do. So mm -hmm. when like I, I, I was able to, to, to like France was willing and to you know to to say you know from now on any video I'm gonna give my students I'm gonna film it by myself first at home I say perfect so we tr we try to pick a couple of video like couple of labs that she wants to do and that's it we're trying to go different people different uh, expertise different you know appreciation different stuff right and on the French side I know uh, Francois had done. Uh, uh, Francois Florent, they had done a big also, uh, I think was a whole day of filming videos, also laboratory work. So we're going to be taking their videos also added to our library and we're going to add our our videos to their library. So we're going to do a little exchange of, of videos. So we're going to have a bigger, uh, you know, bigger bank of videos, right? But the whole idea behind it is just to help the teacher who's doing science and cannot do a million video, a million lab, mm -hmm. you know, and also to have the students too, because some of them never touched anything. So at least if they see it, they, they're watching it, they can watch it over and over and over. And when they come the day of, there's no surprises. It's the same tools. It's the same, like naming, just simply knowing the names of, of the stuff you have in a lab, you know? You say, okay, get me a Petri dish. And they're going to look at you. What is a Petri dish? I never heard of it. What is a glass rod? What is a testing tube? Okay. Some are self-explanatory, but some aren't, you know? <laughs> so stuff like that. And, and we wanted to include also, I think, a video on, on the math, the conversion of the math, like how to read like the units on, on these instruments and convert, you know? So yeah, there's quite a bit of work to do, but at least we'll start off with something. And every year we'll build on that library. I think it's gonna be a yeah, very it's such project. a good project. Yeah. Well, we have uh, we have all the right partners to do it. So, <laughs> so so by the way, just kind of yeah. offering out there. I have already because I'm individualized. I I already make some video myself just because I have to start find a way to clone myself about five or six times. Yeah. <laughs> so I already have some. I have some video on TSC 4061 electricity oh, and your chemistry. So if you ever uh, want to take a look at it and use or however you want to, feel free. Oh, you're the best, Jessica. We also, just to let you know, proceed to sponsoring this project. So we have, an, like Sonia, Sonia is actually taking over all these video and making them all pretty. <laughs> So we have the packaging already uh, we will be taken care of. So yes, Jessica, definitely we are knocking on your door when we come to 61, you know, definitely. Thank you. 
and, and we thought about it this way because again, you could do so much, like you said, you could add to a video that it's already nicely displayed, then, then ha have to cut off stuff. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, so mm -hmm. this, is, this is mainly for that project. We wanted to kind of update everybody on what is it. Um, also, to, to let you know, also today, uh, well, I always ke um, keep on getting updates of what's happening with FET, you know, the simulation site. And uh, I was able to get a whole set. Uh, I got new stuff for physics. And you were asking me, Jessica, for physics last time. And it's super interesting. Love, interestingly enough, they had sent me like two, three new uh, projects, like the new simulation on phys for physics, for, uh, for um, optics. So um, really, really good ones. I actually checked them out and played with them. It's actually really good. Uh, the ones that you have to like draw on uh, on lenses, you know, the ray, the diagram rays. So these are good to have. And um, I also have, um, I found uh, like quite a bit of simulation for biology, you know, physics, chemistry, and earth science. I put them in the, um, I put them in the, um, the notes. So if you ever want to look at them, you can look at them. And also I thought it was super, super cool um ted talks i found ted talks and videos about uh that on science project on biology chemistry and physics they're super good i i actually uh and i love the ted talk based on uh, the questions they ask a question and they go they start off with a question and then they go through the science and they do it so once in a while it's nice just to have that done for you so there's a list of that stuff so Super, super cool. So um, that's for that. Um, I think uh, that's where I, uh, I I was looking at stuff to add, but then I said that we wanted to have conversation about any other areas of struggles that we should develop and uh, any other areas that you think we should uh, look into for next year. Next year, this year, I think we topped out. Huh, Emily? <laughs> And you, Jessica, I think you're being involved in biology and math. I think we tapped out this year. So uh, I don't but, know. Is there is there anything that you think we should look into for next year for science? Better course pack? Better like course. better than uh, some unnamed publisher? Oh. <laughs> well, oh, because the physics are just, I have so many students doing this in education that are, they kind of get through the TSC okay, chemistry mm -hmm. not bad, but physics particularly are just really? horrendous. Okay. I didn't realize you have so many physics students. So for that, I have to uh, send you more stuff. Okay. So oh, I'm, I'm close to like, it, it bugged me so much. I'm close to writing my own damn thing. No, 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 no. Let, let, I think you have enough on your hands, but let's see what I can do to help you. I promised you I didn't get the chance to empty my computer, but I will, I will. I may just show up at your door with a big box of papers. That I have. I'm <laughs> more than happy to just go, yay. Okay. <laughs> and just that's go through that's... everything. No, it's, but it's for, if a distant ad for an individualized teaching is almost, it while it's all it's great to have extra material that's going to help the students, but the students are still because some students are not proactive enough to go get it, or yeah. not proactive enough to ask questions. They just suffering in silence and cry. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly you feel like uh, you go you email say hey how's it going, and yeah. they are just really upset that they they don't understand anything. Oh. Yeah, so I find that ha not having a really clear uh, textbook are still hurting them quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jessica, have you checked out the ones on CK12? Like maybe there's like the interactive ones that are there. Yeah, um, I will. Um, it's just that you have to jiggle, right? Because yes. it doesn't fit the curriculum exactly. And it's, sure. it is always... Um, it's, it's difficult because I don't think you can add to it to CK12. 
You can. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You can. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, but maybe I will persuade somebody to let me do that. Like, like put something together because it will be, uh, even if I'm not writing this from scratch, it would take a significant, it's a significant undertaking just to kind of put everything together exactly. in a complete format. Yeah. yeah no, yeah, and yeah. it's not the, the fact because most students, when they reach grade 11 stage, literacy is not the issue, but the way things presented really can be better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also there's just so many mistakes, so many mistakes and it's driving mm -hmm. people nuts. Yeah, that's, it. that's super annoying. It's, it's super annoying, but not only this, it's because you know why they don't even bother with those because they say physics is right now is an option course for some things, not for everybody. So it's the smallest group in a school usually. So that's why they're not investing as much attention as they should. Yet physics, anyways, my my heart goes to physics, but you know. Anyways, but uh, we'll we'll get it. So I'm gonna put it. Uh, listen, next year if I end up doing a project on physics, I'll to tell you it will be my favorite. <laughs> so, well, so remember Michelin, our our plan two three years ago when we put together that lab, we yes. had a plan to basically develop a whole course pack from the last yes. perspective. That's right. So, so they, they experiment and learn, learn about it versus yes. learn about it and cry and it's, then maybe do an experiment or not. <laughs> that, that's exactly what I wanted to say to you. It's an idea that we had, but we never got to, but you know what? It will be on my top list for next year because this year, unfortunately, math came up quite a bit. And I think we're not doing enough for math, unfortunately, yeah. because there's so much adjustments and so much uh, mixture. <laughs> uh, math sec three is as a big, big problem. And um, I know we're in science today, but uh, they're all connected. They're all connected. Yeah, so yes. yeah, math, math right now, it's the top of top that requires attention. But for sure, now the science this year, we wanted to... Uh, um, well, there will be a, a workshop that will be specifically only for Justify Explain, just because the way nature is going in, in, in the evaluation world, it's moving towards more in, to Justify and Explain. So I will be putting um, a, kind of a workshop together on templates on how to help students Justify and Explain, because, I mean, they need some support in there. And uh, in science, I think overall, other than the 59 and the 60, the, the newest, let's say science on the block, if you want, uh, now they're set and people are more comfortable with them. I, I think there's no more fear because they are, they're very actually pleasantly, their pleasant course is to teach, <laughs> you know, surprisingly their pleasant course is to teach, you know. So 59 and 60, they are set already so this is good so there's no new courses unless there's no changes to the these and the exams which is to be expected but we'll find out when they come around so next year hopefully i was hoping to look more on the sec five sciences they'll be my priority in sciences so other than literacy again but uh, but that's why I'm asking if if it is something that you you need, then I could kind of put it on my top priority for next year. So physics for sure it will be something that potentially we're gonna start a project on. And I think you know it's a science that's worthwhile teaching. You know. So yeah, thank you, Jess. So you'll be called upon for videos for physics for everything. It seems. <laughs> But we're gonna get you friends. We're gonna get you friends <laughs> from the other commission scolaire. <laughs> yeah, you had a question? No, no, I, I no, I was just like uh, I was kind of holding my my ears when you say that DD might change. Like no, 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 uh, no, no, no. Well, I, I I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Well, I I kind of saw the new uh, rubrics for sciences and there's major changes, but they're much nicer than the one we have. 
really, it's much, much nicer. And uh, they're a lot more comprehensive. <laughs> so they're, they're called them the combination, they call the combo <laughs> ones. So they're, they're, they're a lot nicer, I think. And I think um, they're a bit more efficient than the one we have. I know we took forever to learn the one we have, but those guys are a bit more efficient. So I mean the combo hopefully, like the math? Yes, similar to the uh, math. Okay. Okay. Did you like the math? Oh, uh, I I like the math and then I realized that because I have my secretary always ask me, do I need to print all those papers? Because what they did is they have the combined checklist and rubric, and then they have a separate rubric. Yes. With, with just rubrics. And I was like, well, it is government exam. So, but every time we print anything, we feel like we are just like yeah, cutting down trees. trees. Yeah. Mm. But, but we need it. We need it. it. It's rather that than you figuring out a new system. Trust me. <laughs> So yeah, it's gonna look uh, it's gonna look more and more like the math, which is a bit more efficient, I think. I think than presently. I don't know. Anyways. So that's right. a, that's a conversation uh, for for another time, like we say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I think uh, okay. So other other than physics, other sciences, you think we might need to look at uh, for next year? What do you think, Jess? Uh. Well, I have to have to say like maybe um the physics textbook is as awful as I describe it, but you're right, there's not that many students. It's just that they cannot cry the loudest. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah but they're important too. They're important too. And I don't know because chemistry I know is is more theoretical. You can't really see it in the real world, but I find that physics could be so much better and so much more relatable to the the actual real life as well. That is just, just such a shame that they are so poorly done. Would you think next year maybe chemistry uh, laboratory uh, would be help? Could be helpful, you think? Maybe. Well, I think if we have a whole bunch of basic chemistry video from TSC, that okay. will help chemistry too. Because okay. a lot of time is is the these basic components that are missing and uh, individualized with distance education may not just have the time or the material to go help that students. Okay. All right, so I'll look into chemistry lab. So and that will be something fun with the with the Reci to do like the interactive stuff. I think chemistry totally. will be a, uh, a fun a fun. Uh, It'll be more in context, like you could like almost put the persona of a nurse. What would they do and the relevancy? Persona of, a, of an eye doctor, a lab tech, uh, even health sciences, whatever. I think, yeah, you're right. More relevant, uh, more up-to-date, uh, maybe situational where we could apply this stuff. That would be cool. And probably we can have a couple of things, a couple of video or interactive things based on how they can plan the experiments, because that's what they need to do in grade 11. Well, actually grade yeah. 10, they, they kind of have to plan it. But I find there are some students just, they don't know where to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually a good idea. Actually, you could almost give it like, like in terms of like uh, place them in order, like almost like progressively have a, a, a plain experiment mixed up all the procedure and get them to organize it so they could progressively make sense of it. Yeah. Yeah. Or like a sort of an interactive form where they have to select and it like takes you in a different direction based on what you do and tells you if that was like the right selection or the wrong selection, sort of like an escape room chemistry experiment. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. That would be super fun. Escape room. I love that chemistry oh we can do the same for physics actually That'll yeah be so it's just the, cool. like the planning of the experiments because yeah. i find the students if they especially for the experiments because they have choices right they can choose mm -hmm. how many angle they should be testing etc and because they have choices it really messed them up yeah they're not good with choices you're right yeah well they're programmed to always do one thing all the time right so making yeah. choices is a difficult one. You're right. That's but that a, escape yeah. room, maybe we can show them that 
there's more than one way to lead to a feasible lab setup. So it's not yeah. if you didn't choose that, it doesn't make it wrong because in the textbook they see one form, mm -hmm. and they feel yeah. that if I didn't choose twenty five, it's wrong. <laughs> like no, yeah. I could have choose any number. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, I love that idea. The escape room. Good job, yeah. Emily. Very inspirational. Yeah. There you go. Twitter. So, Twitter gives me the best ideas. I cannot claim <laughs> this idea as my own. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's a, it's a good inspiration. And, and it could be a theme. It could be like multiple escape room with different theme. And it could be related to a job. You know, if you want to be something. Like well, that's, like, that's with... what's so cool about the like, it, when I was reading through the programs, the different situations they give you based on like what stream you are, you know, it's supposed to be in an applied context or whatever, like it's for different types of jobs that you're preparing for. So to give a situation where it really is like more concrete, I think could be super cool. Yeah, yeah. So maybe job related, we just like uh, added in a whole a whole new uh, dimension to it. I think I think people identify when it's relevant to them it becomes interesting. That's all. Super cool. So chemistry, physics. Anything in the still the lower science you think we need to, uh, you know? Um, even you, I, Emily, I, did you, yeah, or, or Jessica, did you hear around anything uh, people were saying? No? Jess, <laughs> you're good? Well, I'm start. Well, I don't really teach TSC. I teach oh, yeah. the first one, the last one. The the other two middle one are no student yet because okay. nobody have passed the first one. Yeah. <laughs> Can I need to pass the first one to go to the second one? So I have almost nothing on the second one uh, just because I haven't started yet. That's it. That won't bug you longer. This is my my main uh, concern, my main point uh, on on the agenda. I mean. Probably uh, I wanted to like show you other stuff, like, you know, like go through the TED Talks and stuff. But I think uh, there's a lot of collections that you would be more than happy to look at, I think, depending what you want and uh, from FED. But there will be, uh, there's other stuff that we're, we're going to be uploading also on the age resources for math and science, like stuff, uh, new, uh, like situational and stuff. It's just, I have them, but I don't have the answer keys and I'm trying to find answer keys. So that's why we're a bit behind on that, but there'll be clean up too on these sites to see what's relevant and what's not. So uh, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. And of course, Jessica is part of the math CCBE project, which hopefully by June, we will be uploading it. So with, a startup so that'll be a big change a huge huge change very exciting very very exciting yes so hopefully next year we'll do more interactive things in math Rissi. hopefully <laughs> if we don't start if we don't start no new no projects <laughs> <That's pretty laughs> sure these are on to do so oh, i think just like the video once you have the video it's it's easy to add to it to make it more interactive so saying Polly is saying with Matt, once we have the written words in the exercise, we can turn it interactive. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. So, but thank you all. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Richard. I wish you a beautiful evening and uh, see you soon.